was up. You know, uh, I just did some shoulders and I ran for an hour, ten minutes. But just take it back in my life, like, uh, I fucking, I used to, like, cause it's been pretty rough. Like, a lot of shit's been not fair or whatever. And you see other people and they got it fucking easy and they're the ones complaining and shit. And then you're like, holy crap, like, whatever. But it's like, one day it comes and you're like, you're just playing that victim. It's like, why me? Why me? Why is this so hard? Why is all this shit? Why, why, why? And you're being a fucking, like, piss pants fucking piece of shit attitude where it's like fucking victim and then you're like well, I might as well fucking then you go get drunk or whatever to try to cover it and it's like or do something just fucking it's like they're not productive at all and it's just making it all worse like whatever it is it's like go do that and then that, nothing is fulfilling on that but there's something happens when it goes like you switch from that to okay now I know why it all happened. And you're like, without all that, I wouldn't know. Without all that, I wouldn't know what I know now. And it's like, and the more bullshit you go through, the more struggle it is. And you look at everybody else, I gotta, and then one day you fucking figure it all out. And you're like, that was why I had to go through all that shit. And now I'm like, this fucking evolved human being, like, spiritually and nothing can break you because that happens like because you go through this shit and you look at all the other people it's like if they ain't been through shit they complain about everything and they don't because they don't know like they don't they don't know really like like if you come close to death a bunch of times like and just crazy shit and fucking then you deal with all the crazy panic attacks all the time all that stuff it's like man you probably feel pretty fucking comfortable with the situation of dying and then, so that's, that's pretty severe. And then, but you'll see people who haven't been through anything. Like, and those are the people who, what do they have to, uh, in relation to? Like, besides fucking watching a movie or something. What do they have to judge what real trauma is, or not trauma, but real problems are? Versus what is just something that they've put in their head that is a problem because they say it's a problem. Like, uh, like for instance, a child, it's like the biggest problem when their baby is, oh, you take the pinky away. And it's like, oh, man, that's fucking terrible. It's so bad. It's so bad. Like, you know what I mean? Really, like, I mean, you spank them when you have to spank them and shit. That's better than they at least have that in relation. But if you don't spank the child, then it's like, well, everything's terrible to them because they don't know. But then adults are like that. So it's like, man, if you've been through some shit some serious shit, and you could stack it up and be like more than fucking 99.9999999% of fucking people, like, you're chosen, dude, that's was, that was meant for you, and you should look at it as a way to sharpen the sword, like, some people haven't even created this sword, they're just a fucking pile of iron ore, and, and crude, undeveloped piece of shit, that complains and whines and fucking pisses and moans and is entitled and fucking manipulates and everything and, and lies and all the shit. Because they that's where they belong because you don't know what? They haven't done it and they don't want to. And that's why they will stay that way. But the person who's been through it all, been through all the shit, and then they're like, man. And they choose to fucking be like, Yep, that's what made me. That that struggle made me. Like that hardship is what created this personality now. This unrelenting fucking indomitable spirit that is like well within and you just fucking it's unconquerable no matter what happens it's like you're gonna get up you're gonna fucking move forward with a head of steel no matter what it's all great people did they fucking had that mentality was like no matter what i'm gonna fucking win i'm gonna win i'm gonna win and it's not even winning against anybody else it's winning against yourself it's like the moment every day when you wake up and you're like, man, I don't want to do this or whatever fuck, but you have to do it because you have to fucking do it. Like it's part of the, it's part of the whole process of self-actualization and then you do it and you get that one little win and then you get another win and you get another win and the other win and another win. And then guess what? Your life is just a series of wins all day long. You're just winning the game against yourself. 
And then all of a sudden you start becoming something that like you couldn't even fathom. Your potential starts to be unlocked. And nobody knows what your potential is. You don't know what your potential is. Like what is the greatest, like what is, what is the, the capability that you have within you that is, isn't being reached? Nobody knows. Like anything that anybody did ever, like, like fucking... They just went and did it, and all of a sudden they found out that they were, they were oh wow, now I can do this shit. Now it's like this unbelievable potential is unleashed, and then they changed the world with that shit. And you have that potential too. Everybody has that potential. It's just like, man, how far are you willing to go? Like, are you willing to sacrifice everything for it? Like, to become whatever the fuck you're supposed to do? Like, to live in service of this greater good that lies within you? Like, to become all that you can be? Yeah, that's fucking hard. That's so fucking hard. It's a lot easier to just fuck off on fucking Facebook and Instagram and play video games and all the shit like meaningless bullshit and then worry about a damn fucking football team that you have no control over. And who gives a fuck? Like, it's so weird. Like, I just look at these motherfuckers and I'm like, it's so weird that you have no passions better than this fucking shit. Like, it's sad. It really is sad. And, it, and this normal. It's so fucking normal. I guess the only pull to it is the fact of how, like, oh, you can go start a conversation with somebody about fucking Joe Blow from Tennessee State and how he's fucking doing this. Who gives a fuck? Like, who really gives a fuck about any of that shit? It's a big distraction, a big waste of life. Like, it's one thing if you're like, oh, yeah, I like to I go watch a UFC fight here and there and this and that. But who gives a fuck about the rest of it? It's like, that's entertainment. It's fucking entertainment. It's not life. And if you have no passions greater than that, like... I'm sorry, bro. I'm fucking sorry for your life. Like, you are fucking miserable. Like, you are miserable. If that's your big passion in life. It's scary. It's like, dude, what? Man, I don't know. That's why it's like, I'll never be like that. I'll never be like that. And that never drew me in. That never ever did. I was like, man, who cares? Like, who gives a fuck? Like, so I don't know. Basically, you just have to fucking find a passion. Go for it. And just live in service of that fucking passion because it's with, it, you're born with it. It's like within your 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 genes, your DNA that says to go do this. I have to do this. Like I want to do this. Like no matter what, I'm gonna do this. Like I need to do this. That's the only way I'm gonna feel fulfilled in my life. Is that I'm gonna do this. And it's like, man, when you were a kid, you had it. And then guess what? You just get beat the fucking shit out of it because. You're around fucking people who aren't passionate and they have no real passions in their life. And so when they see passion, oh, it's too much. It's just fucking too much. Too much for them to handle. It's just too intense. It's too this and that. Bitch, you're too little. You're a fucking pussy ass bitch and you're trying to fucking tell me that I'm too much. Motherfucker, you'll have nothing ever in your life. You never can look at your life and be like, hey, I did something with my fucking life. No, I fucking jerked off and fucking watched fucking stupid football for my whole life. That's what my life. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Like, what are you talking about? That shit's crazy. And that's the people you're fucking dealing with who are telling you you can't do this shit. You don't know why? Because they can't do this shit. Because it's too much work. It's just too much fucking work to shoulder the burden of your life and be like, man, this is what I have to do. Fucking stupid idiots.